Um, it's a scripture, the last chapter of John. It's in the last chapter of John. But I, um, you know, I was thinking uh, about how God look, how God thinks about us. You know, in Jeremiah 29, he says, I know my thoughts toward you. And, and let me turn over there just so I read it right. But uh, in Jeremiah 29, he says, I know my thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace, not evil. To give you an expected end. Uh, you know, God's got things all worked out. But I turned over to the scripture in John that I wanted to read. And, and I happened to notice in the, in the previous chapter, um, chapter 20, you know, Jesus came back to... Uh, to see the disciples. And every time he came into them, he said, Peace be unto you. Peace be unto you. God doesn't, God doesn't come to us and dump heavy loads and burdens on us. When he said, when he said uh, um, Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest, he said, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, and you will find rest for your He said, Because I am meek and lowly. And you will find rest for your soul. So God is God is never one to 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 come and forcibly try to get us to do anything. He's not going to force us to do anything. Um, but you know, I thought of Peter, and and this is the scripture I I was thinking of in relation to what we're talking about here today, and especially you know what the Lord was saying there toward the end. What God wants is for us in circumstances and trials and tests. And everything is just to reach out to him and give it to him. You know, God doesn't, Phil said, I think it was last Sunday, he said, God doesn't want us to carry one care. We don't have to carry one burden. We don't need to carry burdens. He, did, he never called us to carry burdens. He, he called us. He, now, he may give us a, 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 you know, a burden for somebody to go out and pray for him. Or, you know, but when you do that, you go out and, and like the scripture in Philippians, you know, you're, you're, not, you're anxious, you may be a little anxious. But it said, in all things, by prayer and supplication, and then you thank God that you can give him this burden and this care and cast it upon him. And then you'll have that peace again. But if you think of the life of Peter, Peter was, uh, was one of these guys who liked to get it done himself. I mean, he had all the answers. He would always tell the Lord the way it was supposed to be. <laughs> and he had to go through some hard times. But over here in, the, in verse 18, after he has asked Peter, you know, to feed his sheep four times, and Peter was getting a little bit perturbed that he kept asking him. But he said, Verily I say unto you, when you were young, you girded yourself. You walked whither you would. But when you be, shall be old, you'll stretch forth your hands. And it doesn't necessarily mean old body-wise, although most of us it takes that long for us to begin to realize that we need to start stretching forth our hands and saying, God, help me. You know, and, I, and the reason I guess I think about this is because that's kind of where I'm at now. You know, I, I go out and I say, God, I'm, I'm weak. I, you know, I don't, um, my will is, just seems dead. Everything just seems brass. The heavens are brass when I talk to you. Um, but I say, God, I know that you are and that you're a rewarder of those that diligently seek you. You know, I just stretched forth my hands to him. And I said, if you want me to do something, you're going to have to help me because I can't do it. I just can't do it. Uh, and, you know, of course, that's against his word because we can do all things through Christ which strengthens him. <laughs> But he's faithful to bring, bring his word to our minds and, and to help us as we, re, as we stretch forth our hands. As we commit these things to him, he wants us to have this peace. Because you can't help anybody if you're not at rest or peace in yourself. If you're striving and trying to help somebody, that's not going to help them. You can't do it in yourself. But remember what he said in Jeremiah, my thoughts toward you are thoughts of peace and not evil. You know, when God is, is using us, he's reaching out to help people. He, he's reaching out to touch you and to help you and lift you up where you're at. And, and to, to, to set you in heavenly places, to set you on that rock. Um, because he, his thoughts are toward us. But I just thought of that, you know, but I thought about Peter and, and, and this is what the Lord wants us to do. He wants us to start not, not carrying heavy loads around with us. 
But just, just reach out to him. Just pray to him. Just go to him. When you, have, when you have heartaches, when you have problems, when you're in severe trials, go to him. He's right there and his thoughts toward you during those times are thoughts of peace to give you rest. He wants to give you rest. He wants us to learn that. that this is not something that the battle is the Lord's. You know, I was watching, a, I was taking a tape off, a VHS tape and putting it on a computer. And Brother Thomas was relaying that story about the battle is the Lord's. And it's already won at the cross. He was going to, over to somebody's house and um, because she had gotten deaf, or not deaf, but mute. She couldn't speak. The devil just had her in, uh, in control. And on the way over there, they, the Lord gave them that scripture and, or, or that song. And they started singing it over and over. The battle is the Lord's and it's already won at the cross. At the cross it was done. And all you have to do is believe that it's true. And the battle is won for you. That's all we need to do, beloved. Just take God at his word that we sang this morning, that little chorus. Take God at his word. He's faithful. He is faithful, and we go out to him, and we cast these things upon him. We need to leave them there and not pick them up again when we, when we leave and depart. We just need to thank him for, for hearing us, because he hears the cries of his people all the time. And he doesn't turn a deaf ear, and he will not blind his eye to your need. He knows it, and he, he will and is answering our prayers. I believe that just through the, through the word that we've been receiving lately. It's men what is it? Is it ministering peace just to me or is it ministering peace to everybody else? I believe it is. God's faithful. I, I think we can be encouraged and encourage ourselves in the Lord every day. Amen. Praise the Lord. I know I really needed this today. Um, I believe the Lord's just, you know, showing us how much, you know, we really do need him. You know, it doesn't matter how big of a problem you have or how small of a problem. I mean, like Harry, just even when it comes to trusting him, you know, we even need the Lord's help to do something so small as just trust. And uh, it's like, you know, God's just sitting there and he's got everything we need and all he's waiting for you to do is ask him for it, you know. It's just praise God.